There is a new spyware targeting iPhones called Light Spy that has advanced surveillance and destructive capabilities, including the ability to prevent compromised devices from rebooting. Attackers could gain admin access to over 6 million WordPress sites due to a vulnerability in the Lightspeed Cache plugin, which has now been patched after exposing millions to potential exploitation. Threat intelligence researchers at Humans Satori have uncovered Fish and Ships, which is a cunning phishing campaign that has plagued thousands of online stores since 2019, defrauding customers of tens of millions of dollars through fake product listings. And finally, attackers in the Emerald Whale operation have exploited exposed Git configuration files to extract 15,000 cloud credentials across thousands of private repositories, leading to widespread data breaches and misuse. All of this according to researchers at Sysdig. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. There is a new version of the Light Spy spyware that's targeting iPhones by employing advanced surveillance and destructive tactics. This new iteration enhances its abilities, including preventing the device from booting up after an infection. This spyware originated in Hong Kong in 2020 and now uses a modular architecture to capture extensive personal data, exploiting security flaws in Apple iOS and Mac OS through a WebKit exploit. The spyware is delivered through a PNG or image file masquerading as a Mach O binary, exploiting a memory corruption flaw. The latest version of this spyware has significantly increased its capability plugins from 12 to 28, which allows it to access sensitive information such as Wi-Fi details, screenshots, location data, even iCloud keychain, and some data from various messaging apps. Some plugins from this spyware also include the ability to delete media or even freeze the device. At this time, we're not entirely sure the precise method of distribution, but we do know that it's suspected to be distributed through watering hole attacks, possibly originating in China. And the fact that it's from China has not been confirmed, but I'm reading here that the location plugin for this spyware, quote, recalculates location coordinates according to a system used exclusively in China. And it's also worth mentioning that the threat actors behind LightSpy are continuously evolving using new exploits to deliver their payloads and escalate privileges on the affected devices. So just make sure to keep your iPhone and Mac OS up to date as much as you can, which is pretty common advice across the whole cybersecurity world, right? Make sure you stay patched, keep them up to date. Another story on that line that also involves light and plugins uh, is that the Lightspeed Cache WordPress plugin has recently fixed a critical privilege escalation vulnerability that allowed unauthenticated users to gain admin access. This flaw was due to predictable hash values in its role simulation feature, potentially affecting over 4 million sites that hadn't updated to the latest plugin version. And this specific issue really goes to show that even if something is encrypted or hashed at rest, there are varying levels of efficacy when it comes to that. And most consumers will just see that and think, hey, yeah, it's safe, it's encrypted. But as backend developers, especially around security, we need to ensure the most effective and most secure level of encryption for our plugins. Now, I don't know much about this plugin, but it looks like it's free and it's used to cache over 6 million websites to increase the speed and usability of that website. And so maybe they picked a weaker uh, encryption algorithm to speed it up, which is their whole purpose. But, you know, clearly that was the wrong move. So if you are a WordPress admin, this has been patched and updated. So make sure you go into your WordPress admin panel and update this plugin Check all your plugins, actually, for updates. They're likely going to fix some security vulnerabilities. And if you run a WordPress store or any other store online, there is a phishing campaign known as Fish and Ships that has compromised over a thousand legitimate online stores by exploiting vulnerabilities and misconfiguration. The phishing campaign promotes fake product listings and redirects unsuspecting users to fraudulent websites that steal personal data and financial information without ever delivering any products, 
which is always my fear, especially nowadays when I'm scrolling through my social medias and I get an ad for a product that it already knows I want, right? The algorithm, we love it. And when I click on that, it's just, it looks like a site that was made in the 90s, but I really wanted that product. And it turns out that that product probably doesn't exist. And it's simply just a targeted ad for something that the algorithm knows that I want in order to attempt to steal my login credentials or credit card information. Which is really unfortunate because there are actual consumers out there that are, are trying to sell their products, but I simply will not buy anything off of Instagram ads or Facebook ads or any social media ads because they're cheap. Anyone can buy them, including attackers who likely have more money than the actual shop owners themselves to buy these ads. But this specific operation was detected by humans Satori threat intelligence and has affected hundreds of thousands of consumers, resulting in estimated losses of tens of millions of dollars. The scammers use SEO optimized metadata and fake checkout processes to appear legitimate while also capturing victims credit card details through semi legitimate or direct payment systems. And it's also worth mentioning that although there are things you can do to make sure you're, you're entering in your credit card information into a legitimate site, it's really hard to prove that this site, especially if you've never heard of it, if it doesn't have many reviews online, and if you've never purchased from them before, that they're actually going to deliver this product to you because anything can be spoofed. And anything that we use, any mechanism that we use to verify that a website is trusting, like the lock in the left corner when you're entering in the URL, or HTTPS, or maybe even a Cloudflare CAPTCHA, you know, confirming that you're an actual human being. All of those things can be used by attackers as well, so that you trust the site that you're entering your credit card information into. So the best thing to do is to Google that site before you make the purchase, before you enter in your credit card information, and see what's out there, see what reviews there are. If something's rated one star, even if it's only from a couple of people, it's probably not worth entering in your payment details. And finally, there was a pretty significant breach that's been dubbed Emerald Whale, where attackers exploited automated tools to scan and identify exposed Git configuration files, such as those living in GitHub or GitLab, just the commonly known version control software Git. In fact, they were able to successfully steal over 15,000 cloud credentials from private repositories. These configuration files, often mistakenly containing sensitive information such as authentication tokens and API keys, were accessed through exposure of directories like the hidden git directory dot git, right? And the stolen credentials were exfiltrated and subsequently used for phishing, spam campaigns, or sold to other cyber criminals. The operation primarily used open source tools to survey and gather its OSINT before placing the attack. And if you're in cybersecurity, it's it's likely tools that you've used for your own learning or profession. But this whole thing goes to show that even if you're working in a private repository and you're testing out a new feature and you just, you know, for one second, put an API credential into a JSON and have it pull it in there just for testing. If that gets committed and pushed up to the remote repository, it might not be safe. We have to be very di diligent from the start to make sure that we do not even use these API keys unencrypted at rest. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive.